Hi everybody, this is Donnie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, a big hi to you too. This week I'm going to be planning in my print depression weeks. I've decided to challenge myself. I'm going to use one leftover kit and all you see here is all I'm going to use. My pin gem pen, my bedraggled washi that was in the flood a few months ago, Rose gold, I think, is the bottom one, and then silver confetti. I have a silver bow from the Creative Bee, and a charm clip that I made. I'm so excited because I just ordered my purple uh, print pression kit. Kit? Is that what it was? Bundle. Bundle is what it was. Um, I can't wait for it to come. I've seen pictures, and it's glorious. It's so gorgeous, so... Anyway, let's get started. Let me show you my leftovers. This is from Print Petticoat Bandit, and it is called Dream Big. It's missing a lot of stickers because I've already used it, but there, look at all the foil. There's even a full box left over. So I'm taking all the silver stuff, putting it on top. The foiled pages, trying to figure out if that's the second page or not. And then the back pages are the ones that are not foiled. And there's lots to work with, so why not? Why not use it? Even more full boxes there. So what I've done is decided to just, however I can figure it out. I don't have any day, days of the week. I have to figure that out myself. So let's see what I can come up with here. My main object is to use the foiled pieces as much as possible and the other parts of the kit just to kind of make up the difference. So I'm looking for the weekdays, uh, something I can use for weekdays. And I love these, um, what are they called, the deco uh, washi strips. I like those, but I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to get enough days of the week out of them in the right size. So that was my other struggle was figuring out what size thickness was going to work in those boxes. And I came up with a label with a scalloped header on top of it. And I think it turned out really cute. I have the actual correct days of the week, the dates, the date dots available. And funny thing, this is all silver foil. I have looked through all of my silver foil binder for date dots for the beginning of the month. The dates like from the 2nd to the whatever, 9th or whatever it is. Uh, they're gone. I mean, I've used them all. And so I had to get really, I had to get busy this last week and make some silver foil date dots <laughs> so that I'd at least have something coming up in January to use. Um, December and January especially, I use a ton of silver and I just love silver in the winter time. It just kind of makes all of the kits look, I don't know, I guess a wintry look to them. So I'm just going to finish laying down those little scalloped headers. And I apologize, it's so light. I have tried to adjust and have adjusted the settings here in my editing software, but I cannot make it any darker without it looking gloomy and I don't like gloomy so anyway every, the kit is so light pink and then on white it makes it a little difficult to see but I think you can I think I did a pretty good job of getting it to to show better okay now that I've got the dates done I'm going to start on the left sidebar, that very first space is what I use as a sidebar. Um, of course, I'm going to be digging through the kit a lot, looking for what I want to use. Of course, I wanted to use the foiled header, not header, the foiled full box. And I keep referring back to the previous week every time I do this because I really love this layout. I know where everything goes. I keep, uh, this is my health journal and medicine and all that jazz and I have I have a very finicky way of keeping up with like my blood sugar and all that jazz so you'll see as I write in it too I do make some personal notes just kind of keep in mind this is me uh, this is how I do it and I carry it with me to my doctor's office visits and 
well, both of my doctors, because now I have a cardiovascular doctor. So I keep track of blood sugar, I keep track of medicine, and I keep track of palpitations and how my medicine is affecting my blood sugar because it's a beta blocker, a type of beta blocker. And so it does affect my blood sugar. Uh, my doctor has told me that I have SVT, which is supraventricular tachycardia, and it is just a rapid heart rate it goes like over 100 beats a minute and it's an electrical impulse problem that I have and so they're trying to monitor that and keep a medication or start a medication uh, to try to keep that in check and so far I'm seeing some progress but my blood sugar so I'm trying to just keep track we're going to see if I can stay on this particular medication and still have good blood sugar or not Okay, I'm using, and I went back and forth because there's only six of the um, bow headers in each of the colors, and I've already used a good part of them. And I'm trying to decide which scatter method I want to use in the different colors, so I'm just laying those headers down. I'm excited that I had some that were still foiled that were left over in this kit. I gave some thought as to whether or not I wanted to try to use a kit that was like, you know, more December-ish, you know, winter or whatever. And since I don't do Christmas, I don't, I don't know. I just didn't feel like trying to do anything spectacular. And then when I saw this particular kit, which of course I had pulled out looking for some silver date dots uh, and didn't find what I needed, uh, I decided, well, I'm just going to hang on to it and keep it close because I think I'm going to use it in this little health journal, this Print Pression Weeks. And I apologize if I accidentally say PayPal Weeks. My head in my brain, I see the letters PP, and it has always stood for PayPal. So I may actually say that like I did in my last video. I've laid down half boxes and now I'm going to come in and I, I work from the bottom up at this point. No, I don't. No, I don't. I lied. I'm going to put the flags on next. This kit comes with so many different shapes, lots of different color choices, and I'm thrilled, so thrilled with this kit. This tells me that I need to dig out all of my old used kits, and I do still keep them. I don't and have not purged out any of my old used kits. I have too much invested in it. I make my own stickers. I use digital prints and I've bought them and I've made them and I'm just going to use them. So I'm excited when I get to get in the mood to do that because I like the challenge. I like to try to make things work and I'm excited with this one particularly because of two things, the foil for one and then the content. I love the pinks. I've been spending a whole lot of time this last couple of weeks doing some printing and cutting and then a, a bunch of foiling uh, the last week especially. I have made headers and all kinds of pretty things and I am I'm excited for the months coming up because I have a whole lot of new stuff that I'm going to be using. These are the little flags that each except for the deco one like that one. Um, they have foil, so that's a good thing, always a good thing in my book to have foil. So I'm putting those down. This is the area I just, and I use those little initials. I don't know if you can see that or not. It doesn't matter, but I use initials for which medications I have taken and write that in as I take it. Um, at the moment, I, I'm trying not to have to put them in, uh, all in like in those little medicine containers with the lids for morning and evening I so far I haven't had to do that but if he keeps giving me more medicine I'm gonna have to start doing that because there's a bunch of pills but so far so good so now I'm going from the bottom up I'm using flags and labels and whatever deco stickers I can find because, or washi stickers, I guess is the name of them, uh, to make up the difference for these little bottom section pieces. 
And you see me fiddling around trying to figure out not only which stickers to use, but the layout and the order I'm going to put those down. I think it turned out okay. It I've already started using it for the week. Of course, today being Thursday, I filmed this yesterday on Wednesday, and I was behind. So anyway, all the little notes I take, I eventually put in here and try to keep up with it so that I can take it to the doctor's appointments that I have. So the bottom sticker is where I write my heart palpitation, whether I have any episodes or not, how long they last, and how many I have. Uh, the next sticker I'll place down when I start writing it here in just a second is where I keep track of my blood sugar. And I've had to take blood sugar a whole lot this last couple of weeks once I started this new medication for the palpitations, the A, whatever, whatever that was. I've already put my phone down and now I can't even see the word anymore. So I decided to use uh, these thinner labels and some headers. I'll be writing on top of those headers. Uh, I guess they are all headers that I'm using there. Yeah, I think they were. And it worked. I can, I can see what I wrote because it's dark enough. And so because I guess the lightness of the kit that worked in my favor too because I was able to use headers as a, a place to write. And now I want more foil. So I'm going to be digging through, looking for foiled pages only. And once I pull all those out, I'm going to try to find on these pages little stickers that she's made in and that are foiled that I can use to add, um, I guess, is it deco? I don't know what to call it. I guess it's decoration or, or I think we like icons. I've used icons in the past on the little labels at the bottom of each of the days. And so that's kind of what I'm looking for. These are little circle icons. That's an asterisk or a star. I can't, I can't see it and I don't have the actual book in front of me. But the hearts and the asterisks da, 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 are, are helpful. They're just the little dots, like a date dot size. So I'm putting those down, and the foil, I love the foil. I think that's a heart, I mean a star. And then I want something in the other label at the bottom. And I love so much, I love these bow clips. These stickers with the bows, the like the floppy bows. You know, I don't like I don't like just a plain top bow with just the two loops. I want I want to see like a layered look to a bow, like for a gift or something. So uh, there's only four of those on this page, so I need to disperse them around so that I can uh, not only use all four of them, but that they uh, they look nice and cohesive. And then on the icon page with a that has a ton of uh, foil pieces, I'm pulling the hearts out and using those in between the bow clips. I've decided I'm going to be taking pictures of uh, some of the stuff that I have in my craft room. I have, for those of you who don't know and haven't followed me in the past, um, I have done a whole lot of lace crafts and sewing and things like that and I have over the years that I've been I guess retired I have collected a huge assortment of, of what I call pretties and I'm, I have made lace books and I have tons of lace and pearls and uh, in these color schemes, this pink and cream, and I love that color. So I've recently started pulling out a whole lot of my pretties and taking photos of it. So I think I'm going to use my photos and make kits again, but just the one pager with the two half pages um, for this print pression weeks so that I can have fun, not only making kits again, but uh, using it in my print pression. And I've already got another one made I'll be using soon. I don't know what I'll be using next week exactly, so I won't say I'll use it then, but I do have another one made and I'll be using it shortly. Included with this kit at the top of the page here are these tiny, I will call them chevrons, uh, 
they're little foil stickers that point and I wanted something on top of the uh, flags a little bit more exciting I think to add that and then here at the very bottom I'm using washi and yes it is a bedraggled roll uh, those of you who have watched me before know that I was in the flood down in Houston back in September my son's house flooded for the second time no I don't know what they're gonna do they don't either the neighborhood association is fighting with FEMA and there's y'all pray for them there's still a whole lot that has to be done and they're not able to move back home and so they're living with um, my son's father right now the last thing I'm gonna do is put that little piece of um, confetti washi at the top left open up my pen and I'm gonna write in the days of the week I try to do this and make it pretty but my handwriting is not pretty so anyway I'm just gonna handwrite in the days of the week and it worked it did fine I think it turned out just it turned out fine and I'll be able to use it with no problem that pin gem looks gorgeous doesn't it it works well with that it's the one that has the swirl um, um, base to it I don't know what to call that the <laughs> I really don't know what to call that but anyway it turned out that it worked well with this particular layout and kit I'm putting my clip from the creative beyond and then the charm clip on the other side and that is it for the week I love it because it's real quick and easy to do this it's fun it's therapeutic I always talk to a friend of mine and we we consider it very therapeutic and no that's not a star it's an asterisk so sorry about that but didn't it turn out cute I was real excited the way it turned out I'm excited to be using it this week and you can see there on Tuesday my note about uh, that that's the spot where I write my heart palpitations I woke up in the wee small hours of the morning to the EMS units going by with the sirens going and it started my heart palpitations anyway I hope y'all have a great week. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.